here's another little small bit of action here since the two models have been sold is uh, we are changing the pavers outside the pavers used to go all the way to that left wall and so since this is sold now there used to be a handrail went right right in the middle right there so that accidentally guests wouldn't accidentally knock on the door of the resident to the right so we got the fence removed yesterday and now they're tightening up the border here so it makes it look just like this and long ago the uh, landscaper already sleeved an irrigation line over here so he's gonna come tomorrow and uh, do the landscaping so it'll look just like this those small little details and then we'll get this little small monument yanked out I'll probably have to rip it out with the forklift and uh, and then this one here sold too so I'll rip out that monument there too so uh, kind of bittersweet today because uh, that's the last slab I'm building 18 that's it so no more big pours uh, no more boom trucks and uh, man so when the block mason comes back and he blocks up the second floor there, I won't see him again for who knows how long. And then after the heavy, heavy framers set the trusses, those are for 16, they're coming on Monday. I'm sorry, Tuesday. Uh, he sets those trusses and then those trusses. Uh, goodbye to the heavy framer. So it's kind of, I, I get a little sappy about it, but I, I really don't want to finish this project. I wish I could just keep going, but we're, I can't put one in the water, you know, so um, it's always tough when you see the end of a project coming, although a lot of customers are certainly eager for it to be faster. And, um, got the roof stock with shingles on building 15. Nick is still working on the interior walls. It looks, I'm thinking he'll wrap up on Wednesday.